The first thing I'm going to do here, and you don't have to do this with your lab, but these numbers are pretty small, so I'm going to make them larger. Uh, if you just go to font size, uh, that can control the, the size of your cells. Uh, so the thing we want to do here is add a, a case ID. So you might think that these numbers here are case IDs, but, but really these are always going to stay the same even as these particular students uh, move around. And we want to, for example, permanently label this student as student number 10, even if we would do a sort and, and flip things around a bit. Um, so like I mentioned, we could do one, two, three, and, and so on. Um, there's a much easier way if we go up to analyze, sorry, transform, compute variable, uh, type in student ID here, make sure there's no space. There can't be any space in a SPSS variable name. And then dollar sign case num here. I'm just going to click OK. And that should give us the IDs. Um, the point zero zero zeros are a little, uh, I, I'm just going to, drag the decimals down to zero there so they look a little nicer. I'm going to click on that word student ID and then I'm going to click again and drag it over here so it's in the first column. And the last thing I'm going to do is save. Remember SPSS does not have an auto save function so if you want to save your work occasionally and if you ever are going to do a, a tricky step you might even consider a save as and saving it as a, a new name so you don't lose the old version that you had.